I am sh okay. We've got two vegan macaroni and cheeses. Nina, my good friend, is vegan. And I, you know, I, I didn't even know there were vegan macaroni and cheese options. But we've got two really exciting vegan macaroni and cheeses today on Box Mac. This one's pretty new. This is yeah. an Earth Balance vegan mac and cheese. Earth Balance is like spreads and plant milks and things like that. Yeah. This only came out in the past like year or two. Really? It was a big deal. I'm kind of fine with just eating like plants and rice yeah, and regular yeah, pasta. Sure. I'm not really looking for the replacements. Yeah. I'm having a non-vegan significant other. Yep. Yeah. Try, trying to kind of integrate some of those foods. So I have made some of these. And and we found this one. We had to special order it. Nina special ordered it for me from a, from a vegan products website. Many products, from right? From Pangea vegan website, yeah. Yep. Uh, and this comes very highly recommended by lots of folks. It's a little bit of an untraditional Mac. I don't, It's not a big production Mac. It's like a, a small run Mac. Now I want to say this was two something. Yeah. Um, and I want to say that this was maybe even like almost $3 and then yeah. was shipping over $3. Yeah. Thankfully Nina was ordering other things. Other Otherwise, we would have had to pay almost 10 bucks for this. Yeah, right just here. to get it. This Earth Balance brand um, makes a lot of like vegan cheese popcorn, yeah, cheese yeah. puffs. And when I've had those, they just kind of taste tangy and mucusy to me. Yeah, but other yeah. people have told me that, <laughs> that they actually are good representations yeah. of what those cheesy yeah. products taste like. But I haven't really eaten a lot of cheese in like over three years. Yeah, it, it, it's even got it's got two tablespoons of Earth Balance buttery spread, which yeah. we're going to use. Yeah. You have some of that today, and four tablespoons of non dairy milk. Yeah, which we have some almond milk. Um, this one's a little unusual in that you don't add any fat to this, and it's um, not like a sauce packet. No, so I, I think it's I don't know. I think we're going to see when we open it, but all you have to add to this is water. You add a cup of water or milk. I think we're gonna have to use um, almond milk. I'm a little scared. I don't think we're giving it a fair try if we're just putting <laughs> yeah, water. Just water in. I don't know if my salt is vegan or not. Your salt is vegan. Not everything is. That's yep. actually not a silly question because most sugar, white sugars, in order to get it to be that color, to be yep. white, they filter it and they filter it through what's called bone char, which is the leftover burnt bones <laughs> that of animals. That doesn't sound good at all. That's why they'll use a lot of like stevia that comes yep. from plants or yep. what's the other big one now? Agave, like yes, syrups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you cook with a lot of salt, Nina, when you, uh, when you cook things? I finish with a lot of salt. Yeah, I use a lot of salt as a replacement for fats and I find that it really works really well. I want to get better at using herbs. Earth balance. I've seen this and you've recommended it to me before and I might have to give it a give it a try. Yeah, we use it on kind of everything. It's it's got a little bit of a buttery taste. Canola, soybean, they do make a soy free for people who oh, are wow. soy free. Yeah. Is is that usually an allergy thing when like people go soy free? Usually an allergy and now kind of like a demonized like how we occasionally demonize like eggs or coffee or we pick yeah, one thing yeah, that we're like against. The study says It's it's a bean. It's a, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> you know, the Asians have been eating tofu forever. Yeah. No one's <laughs> not seeing a lot of Asian breasts on men. So they both have like natural flavors. Yep. There's like tomato powder in both. Interesting. Tomato powder doesn't strike me as something that comes off particularly cheesy. They both have nutritional yeast, which is like yeah. the standard cheesy now, flavor. What, what is vegan. nutritional yeast? It is a yeast variant. They'll put it in like tofu scrambles, things that they're trying to make kind of taste cheesy. Yeah. Paprika is also in both. Oh, I love paprika. A lot of them have paprika, garlic, pepper, yep. and like mustard. How do you make milk from almonds? Put your almonds in a blender or food processor, yeah. get them all mushy and wet, and then you actually buy bags, like straining bags, yep. and you strain out all the liquid. Some people are worried about there's like carrageenan. That's a seaweed derivative. A seaweed it? derivative that's yeah. like a stabilizer that some people think yeah, causes thicker. like inflammation. Um, there's sunflower lecithin in here. So some people really just want almonds and water in their almond milk, so they'll yeah. make it themselves. Does it last a lot longer in the fridge than milk? Actually, after you open this, yeah. seven days. That's it. Now you prefer almond yeah. milk to soy milk? I do. Yeah. I, soy milk has like a plasticky taste to me. Mm. And I'm it's also noting that we have different boiling times. Two. Six to eight minutes. Yeah. 10 to 12. Jeez, 10 to 12 minutes for a regular Mac? Maybe it's just real pasta. It's not this this modified um, pasta that it, that has for faster boil. Let's take, let's take a look at this. Maybe yeah. maybe we're looking at a, I don't know. a more know. regular quality pasta. Uh, let's toss this one in. I know when Frankie's on, he likes to read what's on the cheese packet. Nothing. Yeah, nothing. There is a cheese packet in here. <gasps> but it's a powder packet and it's in foil and it also speaks for itself. Actual elbows. Yeah, so it looks not, like real, real elbow pasta. Not the pipettes. 
I want to know what what's out there. If I decided to go vegan tomorrow, there's a lot of like accidental vegan foods. Yep, <laughs> Oreos, uh, Skittles, Skittles, Sour yep. Patch Kids. Yep. Um, there's one brand of Doritos, the spicy, really? sweet chili Doritos, peanut butter, oh, pasta is yeah. vegan, yeah. sugar is there's, vegan. There's lots of great foods out there you can enjoy. I may not be a frequent eater of the box mac, yeah. but I am a viewer of the show, and I know that elbow shaped pasta. Is a sign of quality. Uh, I agree. There's also, if we were making from scratch, which I have never done and will never do, yep. um, nut cheeses. Nut cheeses? Is like, that like a cashew cheese? Cashew cheese is yep. the big one. Like tapioca based cheeses. Yeah. There's yeah. So, so you could put sliced cheeses on your veggie Crazy. burgers. This is a whole world of food that, that I, am, I am just outside of. This calls for four tablespoons of non-dairy milk. How many cups is that? It's about a quarter cup. I don't know why they just didn't write a quarter cup. Why are you trying to... Uh... I think they're thinking you already got the tablespoons out for their earth balance. You just got a double stir going on. I like it. That's twice the stirring. I'm gonna try really hard to measure out two tablespoons of this stuff. And I'm gonna enjoy watching it. This is why I'm only a guest host. My laziness. <laughs> good job. That looks really good. This is taking a while. This might be quality pasta. It's not at all ready. <laughs> uh, you know, honestly, I'm expecting it to not taste all that cheesy, but I am expecting it to taste good. Right. Like, like just a good kind of creamy-ish pasta. Now we gotta do the shake, Dana. Shake down for only a couple minutes. I hear they're very gentle with their language. We've got yeah. plant-based diet friendly. Is this organic too? I don't think so. It's, it's, I mean, it's easy to just get wheat yeah. and palm oil and canola oil anywhere. One is boiling with a lot of um, a lot of foam, which indicates it's a lot more starch. Uh -huh. One is boiling with almost clear water, which I have hardly ever oh. seen in a pasta boil. Yeah, that's that that's Leahy unusual. Garden. Yeah, that's Leahy Garden stuff. Vegan and delicious. A vegans first and then delicious. Not they had actually an option of this that's gluten-free vegan macaroni and cheese. Just, yeah. just have some rice. Just yeah. have some rice. <laughs> a nice big bowl of rice and salt. No one seems to have a rice allergy. I mean, they introduce rice pasta and rice mm, formula to babies everywhere. really early. Still needs another couple minutes. Let's check this one. That one's ready to go. Put dry sauce mix in a saucepan. Okay. Add one cup of water or milk, yeah. mix thoroughly, bring to a boil, and simmer for two minutes, stirring continuously. This is mix very sauce. It has a vaguely cheese scent to it. Kind of like, like an exotic cheese, like a far out cheese. Something that's supposed to come that way. Bring to a boil. Simmer for two minutes. Stir continuously. Come on, I ended up on the complicated episode. <laughs> and I assume it's gonna thicken as it simmers. Okay, this one is, uh, is coming together. Whoa. I really don't want it to burn because now it's getting really thick. Yeah, it looks actually like a like a cheese sauce. Yes, almost. I think I've accidentally like a made a roux here. Usually, if they're having you bring um, oils and and flours to boil, you're making some kind of roux. Yeah. All right. I think we can add the pasta. All right. I've got it right here. That is some beefy, beefy pasta. Yeah, it's really got some bite to it. I probably it shouldn't so call good. it beefy because it's vegan. Whoa, this is really kind of creamy looking. It looks like a, like a premium creamy mac and cheese. Wow, Leahy Gardens, man. It certainly looks good, but Nina, will it taste good? It still smells like that. Yeah, like an unusual combination of spices to me. So Nina, do you prefer a fork or a spoon? I prefer a spoon. All right. I don't share Frankie's craziness. <laughs> Leahy Gardens right here. Well, <laughs> it looks good. It smells weird. Tastes um. What does that taste? That taste is is flour and milk. Flour and and um. Yeah. And plant milk. I can't say I'm not impressed with that one. All right, this is the brand that's supposed to be good. This is the one that Frankie eats. That Frankie says doesn't taste like mac and cheese, but tastes. Good. It's to me this is along the lines of macaroni and cheese. Yeah, I don't particularly like it. it. It does remind me of what I remember mac and cheese tasting like. Yeah, the cheese is not that far off, but it's not it's not there. Oh, nothing can help that Leahy Gardens one. <laughs> if this was my option, I would probably make myself a nice big pot of rice and put some salts in it, and yeah. and that would be it would taste a lot nicer. I have a much better flavor of these two. I think the Earth Balance is definitely the winner. Uh, Earth Balance really got a great product as far as as far as vegan Macs are concerned. Nina, I'm super excited. 
got the Rapid Mac Cooker. That's our very next thing. This is supposedly, it'll allow you to cook Mac in your microwave in one step. So, see you next time on Box Mac. Box Mac. Okay. Oh, that is gross. Don't miss the last Box Mac when viewers like you submitted their mac and cheeses, then watch an all-new Junt's Cart, and we'll be watching quietly here at Red Cow Entertainment. Ew. Like eating from a swamp. Uh, that, that might be the worst mac that has been made. Yeah. That, 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 that. Nobody wants to eat it. Nobody. Nobody!